Hey everyone, in this video I'm showing you how I created this black and white pen and marker drawing for the runner-up winner of the inaugural Wimby Art Contest. Benjamin Mara here, illustrator and cartoonist. Welcome to my channel where I reveal to you my process and give insights about art projects I'm working on with the hope you'll learn some new techniques and be inspired when making your own art. I didn't speed up this video because I wanted to show you how I draw a Wimby drawing. This is kind of a different style for me, although it's becoming one that I'm more used to. It's a looser style, faster. It's really economical as far as the amount of lines that I use to create a drawing. Right now I'm just penciling out Bruce. He's gonna be standing in the parking lot of the convenience store where he buys cigarettes and gets his jumbo drinks from. I'm drawing his car shape in the background too. I really like these mechanical pencils from Papermate, I believe. I can't remember the exact name of the model, but I've been drawing with them since I was a little kid. This is about as much as I'll pencil any Wimby strip. This is actually probably way more pencils than I'll put down for a Wimby drawing or a strip. It's just the basic forms. Now I'm going to go in and ink the drawing with my favorite tool for inking Wimby, which is a Pentel Energel pen. It's the one with the metal body I'm not sure exactly what the full title is, but the Ener Pentel Energel pen is what I use. And I just refill it with ink every time I run out, which is pretty often. I use it pretty frequently. The style for drawing Wimby characters is based on daily comic strips that I grew up reading. Very simple drawings. The drawings are kind of secondary to the story or the joke that's being told in the strip. I don't really use too many lines trying to find the final line that I'm going to use. It's just put a line down and that's the one that I stick with. I like that kind of feeling that drawings have when the artist is putting down their lines with a lot of authority and confidence and decisiveness. I want Wimby to have the same feeling. I don't often get to draw Bruce or other characters this way, like a full-size figure on a full-size piece of paper. Usually they're occupying a really small panel, about three by four inches or so. I think this is Bruce at his most relaxed, probably in his comfort zone, smoking a cigarette in a parking lot with his giant triple XL Frizo Drinko drink under arm. This I think is what he kind of imagined himself doing when he arrived at the convenience store, but things took a turn for the worse for him. I'm drawing the background, just drawing the store itself, just one big block concrete. Making up the perspective on the fly. 
as long as the idea of it being perspective is conveyed, that's all that I really care about. Now I'm drawing Bruce's car in the background. I can't remember what kind of car I was basing this off of, but it's just some sort of like hatchback car. It's really fun drawing this way, just not worrying about anything too much. Good luck pressure. I guess drawing can be as high pressure or low pressure as you want to make it. And drawing can be as fun as you want it to be. Or it can be as stressful as you want it to be. I always strive to make my drawings more and more fun. Because for a long time I was drawing in ways that were not fun and were really stressful. So it had always been a goal of mine to make drawing be more fun like it was when I was growing up. And I think Wimby is kind of a way for me to try and achieve that feeling again. Just putting in some small details here in the background. working on some shadows. I don't want to put too many shadows in here, just the necessary shadows to push certain forms forward and other forms back. I use a lot of shadows in my other work and they really take up a lot of time. So one of the reasons why I like Wimby is because they don't have to draw shadows at all. It's not required. So those are the inks and now I'll just go through and erase everything. I erased everything and now I'm going through with a Copic marker just to add a little bit of gray tones. The danger here is adding too many gray tones. Just want to do enough so that the drawing has a little bit more presence isn't so flimsy, the forms have a little bit more volume. And since this is a runner-up contest winner prize, I want it to have a little bit more to it than just the ink lines. The light source is coming in from overhead, so just making draw shadows that are going to support that logic. The light source is probably the lights coming from the gas tank pavilion. We put a lot of shadow in the background here to push Bruce forward a bit. The side of the building is going to be completely in shadow. Put a shadow on Bruce's leg and his feet and his shoes. Now some shadows in the car. The paper I'm using is a Bristol board paper. I'm not sure which ply or what weight it is, but it's probably 300 pound or 500 pound Bristol board. And it's probably a smooth surface. I usually like the ink on a smooth surface Bristol board. Don't like the tooth so much for inking stuff. Although having paper with some tooth can be helpful for doing some dry brush effects. 
I don't like it because I feel like I can't move as quickly across the surface. I'm just assessing kind of what else is needed. And go back in and add a few more details with the pen. bit of shadow for the car. Some cast shadow around Bruce's feet. And I'm just going through and just adding, making sure, reviewing everything. I do this unconsciously. I don't even remember when I do this while I'm actually doing the drawing. I don't want to add too much because I want it to be a pretty simple drawing. So this is the final drawing, it's a little bit out of focus I think, because I had to get, I forgot to scan it, so the winner had to send me a snapshot of it, but there it is, hope you guys dig it. <laughs>